It has been over three years since a team of international scientists have been able to come to Milne Fjord. They've been coming here, at one of the northernmost points of land on the planet, to study what was one of the most intact glacial systems of its kind. Nestled in between Milne Glacier and the Milne Ice Shelf was an epi shelf lake, a body of fresh water floating on top of seawater that was naturally dammed by the ice shelf. Lakes such as these once existed across Ellesmere and the Arctic and acted as a sort of heat sink, a buffer that protected both the glacier and the ice shelf. Now, preliminary data collected from Milne Fjord confirms what scientists feared following the 2020 calving event, that the epi shelf lake drained. Camera's got it. Alex Forrest, a limnologist at the University of California, Davis, hypothesizes that over time, this likely means that the year-round freshwater lake ice will eventually give way to seasonal periods of open seawater, further degrading the ice shelf and the glacial tongue faster. The concern uh, from a polar scientist's point of view is that once you remove these ice shelves from the system, they provide a buttressing effect. So basically, they, you have a glacier that's up on land, it comes down to the ocean, and then it's pinned uh, by the ice shelf itself. Now you break away that ice shelf and all of a sudden the resistance to flow for the glacier uh, is, is disappeared. So you no longer are being buttressed there or pinned there. Prior to this field trip, the challenge for scientists was knowing exactly how this epi shelf drainage process happens, when, and what happens after it. This is because the disappearance of other epi shelf lakes in the Arctic have only been documented through radar satellite images which only provide basic observations. Now, all of that has changed thanks to a series of instruments that were deployed in the lake in 2019. Fortuitously, we managed to capture uh, a record of the entire drainage event of the lake. And that is something that is completely unprecedented. Uh, partly because of the rarity of these features, but partly because we happen to have an in instruments in at that time, which has never been done. So what these instruments can tell us is how the transition happened. And that's extremely important for understanding the dynamics of how this, this lake transitions out on its way towards uh, a collapse or drainage event. Despite the silver lining of data, the disappearance of the epi shelf lake represents an even greater loss beyond the confines of the towering fjord walls. Milne Fjord is one piece, and it's certainly concerning that another ecosystem is changing. But for the other part of it that's concerning is that this is the last one. You know, when we made predictions 20 years ago that these, these ice shelves will last for another 50, and then all of a sudden 20 years later, they've all but disappeared. So we're losing opportunities to understand how the cryosphere is changing. And so as a, a community, we need to be understanding how this system is changing in order to understand the impacts that are coming down the road towards us. Although the Epishelf Lake is gone, for scientists like Alex Forrest, Milne Fjord will still provide an opportunity to study the final years of a collapsing Arctic ecosystem. And with the Arctic warming between two and three times faster than the rest of the planet, having a better understanding of what happens here will not only better inform what the future of the Arctic may look like, but the Antarctic as well. Dustin Patar, CBC News, Milne Fjord.